Thank you for taking the time to view AlignStar's feature tutorial about changing your alignment layer. In this video we will learn what the alignment layer is and how you can change your alignment layer. AlignStar allows you to create territories by grouping existing map units together. Examples of map units that you can choose include states, counties, and zip codes. Each of these, as well as several others, are represented as map layers in your Layers tab. The map layer that you choose for designing your territories is referred to as your alignment layer. One thing to consider in cases where territories are to be geographically defined is the level of geography used to build the alignment. The current alignment layer always appears at the top of the list in the Layers tab and is indicated with a red check mark. The alignment layer cannot be turned off since it is required to display the territory definitions in your document. The alignment layer is initially set when creating a new document. The alignment layer can be changed at any time without risking the loss of any information when switching back to the original alignment layer. To change the current alignment layer, in the Layers tab, right-click on the map layer that you want to become the alignment layer. The Layers shortcut menu will appear. Select the option Make Alignment Layer. The map redraws, transferring the existing alignment information to the new layer. The Layers tab updates with the new alignment layer listed at the top as well. When you switch back to the alignment layer used to define a territory, the original definition will be preserved. Thank you for taking the time to view AlignStar's feature tutorial about changing your alignment layer. In this video we learned what the alignment layer is and how you can change your alignment layer.